uh, insights about berberine. So berberine is a plant-derived extract that has two properties, one of which it gets a lot of attention for, one of which it uh, might not be as well uh, known. The first is that it is a weak AMP kinase activator. And uh, for those of you that uh, have you know, shown an interest in what metformin does, that's sort of the, the, that's probably the secret sauce of metformin is its AMPK activation. So um, berberine when taken at, you know, sort of recommended OTC doses, which I, I, I don't even remember the doses anymore. I think it's like a, it might be a, actually a comparable dose to metformin. It might be like either 500 twice a day or a thousand twice a day, um, does have some of that weak AMPK activation. And what that, the net effect of that is it de decreases hepatic glucose output. So it's upregulating AMPK is telling the liver, hey, you can make less glucose. So send less glucose out of the body. Um, and so in that sense, it's a poor man's version of metformin. Um, I don't find that that interesting. I prefer to just use metformin if, if we're going to, you know, if we're going to go down that path, like let's do it pharmacologically with, you know, potent drugs that we understand, um, that are consistent from batch to batch that have a much higher sort of oversight of regulation and that kind of stuff. The other thing about berberine, and this is the, this is when I still do use it in clinical practice is it is also a weak inhibitor of the enzyme PCSK9, which any listener of this podcast is going to be very well mm. up to speed on what PCSK9 is. Um, the word on the street is it probably only works in a subset of people who overexpress PCSK9. So if you, um, so PCSK9 is a is a is a protein that um, degrades LDL receptors. So if you overexpress this enzyme, you're going to really degrade LDL receptors. You're going to have a higher LDL particle number and probably a higher LDL cholesterol. Um, if you take that subset of patients, they seem to respond quite nicely to berberine. Now, the question is, how do you know that? I don't think there's a test anymore to measure that. Athrotech, which I think might have got absorbed into VAP or something like that, um, I think you used to have a test, but in the end I was like, why am I going to do some test on somebody to see if they overexpress PCSK9 before I give them berberine? I'll just give them berberine, make no other change and see if there's not a significant enough difference in their LDL, I don't care. And every once in a while, you just, you look like a rock star. You get this patient whose LDL is really high and you check your boxes. Like they don't have their triglycerides aren't that high. They're Phytosterols are not that high. Their stanols are not that high. Their desmosterol is not that high. Hey, they clearly have defective LDL clearance. Maybe they overexpress PCSK9, which would be one of a thousand reasons you could have. High, like literally, there are two thousand genetic mutations that can lead to an inability yeah. to clear LDL receptors. This is like one of them, but this one amounts to about five percent of them. And so, in that patient, you hit them with berberine, and all of a sudden, like phew, everything's fixed. Do you see that with metformin at all? No. No, I don't think metformin possesses that uh, that 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 piece of what berberine has. Hmm. 